Okay, so you've just done your little tutorial in uh, Shaper, so uh, you should be at this screen now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create um, a few different types of shapes and tell you what's more ergonomic. I'm also going to uh, create the ink and give you the sizes so that you can draw your pen around that ink uh, so it's the right size. So let's just maximize that. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the top view, then I'm going to press sketch, then I'm going to go circle, and I'm actually going to go right in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to draw that. Now your circle, the width is 2.5 millimeters for the ink, uh, the ink cartridge or the ink tube. Um, let's just close that. Now we'll just go to a 3D view. And if I just click that, there'll be an arrow. Let's just drag a little bit. And then what I want you to do is type in 145 millimeters. Now 145 millimeters is the actual size of the ink. So let's press return. All right, so that's body one, as you can see, body one. And if I do that and um, just rename that, I can actually call that ink. And now I won't forget it. And I'll let's move it out of the way. Okay, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do the extrude and block. All right, first one, go to the top view, go to rectangle. I'm just going to draw a standard rectangle. So if I just did 25 by 25, oh, no, that wasn't 25 by 25, 25 by 25, sorry, and then just close that. Now if we just go um, 3D, so that's me pressing uh, the shift key and two fingers on the mouse pad. I just click that and I can bring that up. So if that's 145, well, I guess 160 would definitely be the right size. And just press OK. OK, well, as you can see, that block is not very ergonomic. But we'll talk about how to make that ergonomic later. So we'll call that the block. All right. Okay, and of course, I'm now going to move that out of the way just to make it easier for me. All right, the next one I'm going to do is a revolve. Now, a revolve is slightly trickier, but does give you a more ergonomic shape. Okay, so first, we're going to go to the front view on this one. And then I'm going to draw a line. So we're going to sketch a line. And that line is going to go all the way up like that. Okay, press escape. So we need this line first. Right, the next part is I'm going to show you what a spline is. Now a spline, and you're going to do there, and we uh, can actually start curving things around. And as you can see already, even though it's probably not going to be able to fit you, it already looks more ergonomic. Press escape there. Now I'm going to show you the arc. arc this one is a three point arc, so I go click once, click twice, and I can make it go in or out. Let's, I'm just going to do that. Okay, and the next one, I'm just going to draw that line now. And just for this demonstration, I'm going to actually go there. Okay, now I can close that. All right, so that goes all blue. So that's solid. It's got to be solid to do this. All right, well, the next one is I'm going to revolve it. So for this, I'm just going to go 3D, go Tools, go Revolve. I'm going to select this line, and now I'm going to select the line, the straight line that I want it to revolve around. And there you go. Okay, so that is how you would do a more ergonomic shape using revolve. Okay, the same. We'll go here, rename, and we'll just call that one revolve. All right, and as with the others, I'm going to now move that out of the way as well. All right, so uh, first of all, we started with the block, and that's not very ergonomic. That's more ergonomic, but still not the best. I want to show you something now. It's a little bit more complicated. This is called the sweep. Right, press sketch, spline, and we'll just click there. Not too curvy, remember? There, there, a little bit curvy, and there. Okay. And when you're happy, you can press escape. Now, 
I need to now draw a circle here. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to sketch a circle or it could be a polygon, could be an ellipse, could be anything that do an ellipse. So using that first point, click for the middle. Might be a bit too big. So the first thing you need to do is that lovely curvy line and then something, a shape that touches the beginning of that curvy line. Let's go to tools. This is called the sweep. So we're going to sweep. Right, we're sweeping this face along that path. Okay. Now that's a bit horrible. You see that's curved. Now the problem is, is that this was a little bit too big for the line, but it sort of works, so I'm just going to leave that. All right, again, it's called the sweep, so I'm going to rename that, rename sweep. And again, like with the others, I'm just going to move that out of the way. First of all, I need to draw a shape. I'm going to draw a circle, and I'm going to draw it on the bottom here. All right, that's done, close it. Now I've got to draw uh, another one above it. So I'm gonna add a construction plane. So a construction plane is something that I can draw on. Add a construction plane. From here, we're offsetting it this high. Okay, so a little bit higher. Now, I'm actually going to do another one. So add another construction uh, plane from here. Next. And this one's going to be even higher there. Done. All right. Now, what happens is I'm going to draw a shape here, which I've done. A shape here and a shape here. Watch what I can do with them. So we're going to sketch on that plane. So I've clicked it. You can see there's my circle. So... I'm going to draw a circle that is slightly thinner, so it's going to come in. All right, let's close. And let's go 3D, so you can see what I've done. Just done. So I've got, there's my first circle, then it's going to come in. Now, I'm going to do another sketch, so sketch. Bear with me. Let me sketch on it. Oh, there you go. I want to make it really difficult. So we're going to do an octagon. I'm going to select the centre. You don't have to. It does make it easier. And this one is going to come out like that. And then close it. Now, some of you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to loft. So the shape is going to go here. It's going to turn into this shape. And then it's going to turn into this shape. So tools. Loft. The first face. The second face. The third face. Press done. Now, when we look at it, it started with a circle, went smaller, and then turned into an octagon. Okay? And as usual, we'll rename that and call it loft. Let's move it there. So, the first way is um, we use the tools and I'm going to do the chamfer and the fillet. So if I just click this one and that one, I press shift. If I drag it, it'll make it, um, if I drag it outwards, it makes it round. If I push it in, it makes it angular. So to make something more ergonomic, I can radius the edge. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do it here. So tools and uh, chamfer radius. Click one, shift, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Just drag it in. So that's one way of making something a little bit more ergonomic. That's another way of making it more ergonomic. Well, of course, you can cut away at it. So a sketch. I'm going to select that face because that's where I want to sketch. Get rid of that. Now with this one, if I go 
there, there, and there, and then draw a line so it goes from there to there and closes it, and press close. I can now transform, or actually just click on it, and move it away, and that will cut it out, you see? So now I've got a finger grip. Press return. And of course, I can now chamfer that as well. So I can click there, hold shift, click there, and drag it away. Okay, so you've done lots and lots of pens and you're really, really happy with it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract this from this so that you get uh, the hole for the ink. You don't have to do this yet, but I'll just show you it anyway. So I'm just going to look at a view where I'll be able to move stuff. It's called ink, and as soon as I click it, it will allow me to move it. So I'm going to move it around. And where is it? Right there in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to look at the side view. And we're just going to have that so it pops out a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to press uh, return so it's there. So there it is. Of course, that's still not a hole. So what I need to do, go to tools, and we are going to subtract. Subtract from here with that. Do I want to keep the original? Well, if I don't keep the original, then I lose the ink, which means I have to draw it again for other things. So we sort of want to keep the original of the removed body. Done. Okay. Now, if I hide that or move it, so let's just move it out of the way. There's the hole.